The following presentation is brought to you by our sponsor, Smunchy Games. Please visit our sponsor at www.smunchygames.com. You can purchase Pokemon plushies, beanies, and Pokemon boxes at that website. Please enter Tesla at checkout. That's Tesla, T-E-S-L-A, all lowercase letters. You get 5% off of your purchase. Smunchygames.com. What is up, Mashup? It is I, Tesla here, the coach of the Charlotte Beach Drills for week six of the VPL the Valhalla Pokemon League. In the team build, you guys learn of another twist as at the VPL that was revealed week four that we did not cover. So, if you haven't heard about that yet, definitely go check out the team build. You should also be checking it out to figure out what sets I'm running and why. Because I do got some heat this week on me running on my mon, so we're gonna check that out. Um, last week, we went up against Leo who's competing in the UCL, and we choked the match badly, because we could have won, but we were way too nice. We decided not to be a dick and stall, thought we could win it the honorable way, but that it was fine. I mean, he deserved to win, I deserved to lose because of that, and, well, we're going to hopefully push onwards and win this week against Rudy of, I believe, the Chattanooga Chestnuts, if I remember correctly. Chattanooga Chestnut, or, Ch yeah, Chattanooga Chestnuts. His roster is, as we mentioned in the team building, Heatran, Dragonite, Teleflame, Mega Blastoise, Cresselia, Nidoking, Hoopa, Magneton, Bronzong, Gastrodon, Hariyama, and Mr. Mime. Um, roughly, I am expecting to bring Teleflame, Heatran, Dragonite, Mega Blastoise, um, Cresselia, and Gastrodon. So, let's hope we can pull off a win here. I really need this. I really need to come back from last week's loss. And we are bringing, as mentioned in the team building, and below, Rotom Wash, Haxorus, Togekiss, Umbreon, Electrotross, and Mega Metagross. These are the standard six that I keep bringing every week, minus, you know, except for the fact that I brought Dog Fan one week instead of, I believe it was Umbreon. But yeah, let's go ahead and send the bell, or get online and have the battle sent. We got God Silver Road Marsh, we got Arm Dragon the Haxorus, we got Milkman the Togekiss, Midnight the Umbreon, Keel the Electros, and Card Trooper the Mega Metagross. So. <sighs> Really, really nervous here. Like, really nervous, but let's see if we can deliver the goods here. Alright. So let's see, Rudy is online. Let's see if he's online. Oh, and. Uh, oh, it's, uh, his name is GS or G Scrapping. Alright, so that's what he's calling himself on the PSS. Let's go and run with it. We got our hype music on in the background, that being the. Um, Gym theme from Oras as we enter the bell because this is very monumentous. I mean, we got to It's gonna be a very intense bell and we are of course gonna be using music number 21, which is my hype music. I love it I love Zinnia's theme So music number 21 and how screwed are we going to be here tonight against Our buddy here Rudy of the Chattanooga Chestnuts Come on, Charlotte Petrels, let's go ahead and get ourselves a win. And I am, for the most part, right. He did not bring the Heat Train, but he brought the Nido King. So, I am expecting him to lead off with either the Dragonite or the Gastrodon or the Nido King. So, let's write it down here. So, there's no, um, there is no Heat Train. I'm expecting to have a Lumberry in this Dragonite, too. Yes, and Mega Stoice. Alright, we are gonna. Pr I think. Here's on the Heatron, so I think what would be best is me to lead off with the Electros this week. Maybe? May yeah, I'll, I'll lead off with Rotom Wash, actually. There's no reason not to. Alright, well good luck to him, have fun, and let's do it! I think he's going to be leading off with the... He can lead off with anything, really. He can lead off with Cresselia. Um, he does have Apostle Rocksetter and Nido King. 
Uh, whether or not that thing is carrying rocks or not is up in the air, because you don't usually see stealth rocks on a Nido Key. They're usually like Choice Scarf or Life Orb or Choice Specs. So he's going to lead off with... Uh, Poison in the... Blastoise. Okay. He's going to lead off his Mega Blastoise. And hopefully he does not get a Ding Pulse Flinch on us, because that would be really awful. We're going to go for the Volt Switch right off the bat here. We probably shouldn't, but... We probably should just um, go ahead and, you know, pain split in case he goes for a Ding Pulse and see what he wants to do, but, yeah. Because his Blastoise wants to do to us. So I've got something where washed. He starts with a Blastoise. Um, as for rules, you do not have to Mega Evolve right away, contrary to other draft leagues, so... There's really no reason neither of us would Mega Evolve right away anyway. It's not like we lose speed when we Mega. It's not like um, our base abilities are really going to be that useful. Especially since he doesn't have any Intimidate Pokemon, and I don't think he's going to set Rain, so if that's a Rain Dish Blastoise, yeah, it's not really going to help him. His only thing is move for as long. It's not going to... What is he going to start with? What is he going to do? Is he going to go into Nido King? He's going to withdraw, probably... Oh, he's probably going to Gastrodon, is what he's going to do. Changi! What should be? Cresselia! Okay. That's actually... I like that. I like that a lot. So his Empower Ground and Tokus is kind of wasteful now. Or we're gonna hit like Nido King on the switch, but I think Air Slash should do a lot more damage. Now let's go into Midnight the Umbreon here. I'm hoping this is not a rest on Cresselia, because that'd be really awful for us. So what I want to do is I want to actually go for a Toxic here. On his um Cresselia. Now if it goes to T-Wave our Umbreon, we're kinda of fucked because we can't get the Toxic off. Let's send out our Midnight the Umbreon. We're going to go and try to get a Toxic off on this Cresselia. I think aside from the uh, Talonflame, our Hatchers can put in the finest of work here. Because Braver will just destroy our Tal our Haxorus because of priority and whatnot. Kind of happy to actually switch out on Blastoise. Switch Blastoise out instead of going for a Dank Pulse on my Rotom Wash because I didn't really want Rotom Wash to take damage right now. So what does he want to do? He's got the Cresselia. He could switch to the King. We are specially defensive on Breon, as like we usually are. So it's not like his Nano King will do too much to us unless he's a super power Nano King. A choice of Nano King? That'd be weird. We're gonna go for Moonblast, alright. That's not really gonna do much to our Umbreon. It does like literally nothing actually. We got the special attack drop, not that it really matters, because we are. Because we are not a special attacker. So that Moonblast is like less than 15%. It's amazing, to be honest. Now that the Cresselia is kind of badly poisoned. So do know that uh, Cresselia has Moonblast. And I know he doesn't want to switch um, Cresselia in or anything else in on an Umbreon, so we're going to go for Foul Play. Thunder Wave? I got the, um, I got the Heal Bell. So T Wave, Cresselia. So I'll just go for Foul Play. Synchronize doesn't work, fortunately he didn't. I'm really glad he used um, Moonblast instead of Thunder Wave against the Umbreon, because I wanted his Cresselia badly poisoned. So Umbreon is poisoned at the moment. Or on the Paralyzed, rather. His Chrysalite is badly poisoned. It's on a timer. And I want to go for a heal... Do I want to go for a heal bell? I think I'll go for a heal bell this time around. He has a leftover his Chrysalia, so... He'll try his Chrysalia. He's going to go into, I want to say... Poisoning the Blastoise. Okay. We got the heal bell off. Now, I want to do some Kelps here, because I'm not sure what a uh, R-Spear from Mega Blastoise will do to my Umbreon. We'll go you Cleric. This is pretty much the set that I'm running. And he is a Mega Blastoise. We'll assume for the sake of argument, he is an offensive one. You you all out attacker. And R-Spear would do about 46.5 to 55.4%. I think I'm going to go switch into Milk Man here. To 
plot resist that are a spear. Hopefully, I have to go for Ice Beam. That'd be really shitty. It looks like a Mega Evolution right off the bat. He might fear a Team Wave from my Togekiss. He could go into Cresselia. He's gonna go for the Water Pulse. Okay. We're not gonna be able to take that too well, though. Oh, yeah, we're definitely not gonna be able to take that too well. Because the critical hit and confusion. So, RNG right off the bat. Well, isn't that lovely? Isn't the RNG lovely, guys? Did I have Gastrodon, right? right? He does, he does have Gastrodon? Pretty sure he does. I'm gonna go into Keel, though. We're gonna switch our Togekiss out of here. We don't really wanna mess with the, um... We don't really wanna mess with... Confusion and Critical Hits. I don't know if he's fast or not. I don't know what his Eevee spread would be, but we're gonna Keel. Hopefully we're gonna Wolf Switch off. Those are water pulse. Watch him confuse me again. That's how he confused me. Let's actually go. You know what? We can go for a discharge here, I guess. We're going for Volt Switch. We'll go for Volt Switch. Maybe we'll switch Drag Knight in. This is a pretty awkward position we're in, because Blastoise is just, um, doing lots of damage. So Mega Blastoise has Water Pulse. I'm sorry, what just happened? Did I go first or something? I'm a little confused here. I'm a little confused right now. Did he miss an attack or something? I wasn't paying attention, I was writing moves down. Miracle! Ah, oh, fuck my life! It's Miracle. No, don't kill! Motherfucker. Fuck this Blastoise. On a good- on a positive note, we got ourselves- we can send in our Haxorus! We can send an Armed Dragon here, go for a Dragon Claw! We kinda just lost the room, are out to the damn fucking, um, Miracle. So he's got Miracle and the Water Pulse, which is very bad for us. I'm gonna go for a Dragon Claw, I hope that'll take him out. Maybe before it doesn't. I'm just fucking up. Alright, Blastoise is down. Sweet! The so Mega Blastoise is down. I believe uh, Me Mega Mega Rocks can handle the Talon Flame. As a backup. Token Umbreon. It's okay, guys. We got this. And Roman, we have to take off the layout because that fucking Mirko. I knew some. Should know it was a Mirko when Roman watched when Electros went first. I kind of want to go for a D dance. Not gonna lie, but I didn't want to risk the uh, Ice Beam killing my Haxorus. And too much damage is done to Haxorus, and Talonflame would have most certainly took it out. And yeah, that would have been bad. I'm hoping it sent in Dragonite though, to be honest. Terra would be Gastrodon! Awesome! I I love Gastrodon. Gastrodon is like the best. We're going to Umbreon. You try to go for a Scald, you'll just um, burn yourself because of um, Synchronize. You go for a Toxic, you'll just poison yourself. Stockpile? Oh shit, that's not good. That is not good at all. But I think I can just put a Toxic on you and stall you as well. So. This Gastrodon has Stockpile. And we'll just, um, put a Toxic on this thing. And we'll try this guess. Yeah, he's like, nope, ain't gonna do that. He's like... Ooh, Nido King, cool. Well, Nido King, I hate to tell you this, but I am kind of a special defensive Umbreon, so I don't know what you're gonna try, what kind of funky things you're gonna try. So let me do some Calcs also. I did some Calcs in the Team Builder. I also don't have a Team Builder for last week's battle because for uh, some reason it got deleted. I, I don't know what the fuck happened to it on my computer. But we'll go, um, I'll some OU Wall Breaker. And yeah, it's not really going to do much, is it? Look for Moonlight, see what you want to do.
Oh, he's gonna withdraw. He's gonna double up. Okay, that's fine. That moonlight was wasted, but that's fine. Terra. Maybe it's expecting me to switch into something else. I'm not really sure. We'll just go for Toxic again. I really don't know what this Gastrodon is gonna be up to. Yeah, now that now Nido King's um, Sheer Force moves really do more than like 37% to my Umbreon. I'm actually really loving Umbreon in this draft league. Toxic? Yeah! Yeah, we got the Toxic off on the Gastrodon. We got the Earth Power, that is fine with me. I kind of wish I put a taunt on my Umbreon this week, but I didn't know when to take off, because all moves are essential. Our foul play is, use, is essential to hit physical attackers. Um, uh, Moonlight is, is really needed for the um, healing. Heal Bell is needed for to be a cleric and toxic. We just want to be a dick and toxic spell everything out, so go for foul play. You might switch out. That's because I can't really do anything outside of toxicing my Umbreon, and we just got Heal Bell for that. Of course, we only have seven power points of Heal Bell left, so we have to use them um, wisely. So we go for foul play. Skull? Okay, I mean, that's fine. No burn, though. I know he doesn't want to switch. We have to go to Togekiss, to be honest. And take this opportunity to roost up or something. The unfortunate thing is, though, is if um, we switch, we switch a note king, we're in an awkward position here. I feel like going for foul plays is better for us this time around. Switching to Telephim is going to take a lot of damage from foul play. Switching to Cresselia, so I'm going to take some damage. Foul play. I'm gonna try Terra. The Gastrodon is gonna go into Nido King. I'm glad I didn't switch into Togekiss there. I am so glad. A foul play is about 25% to the Nido King. What's making me nervous is thing gonna be carrying Focus Blast. I believe Nido King gets it. So uh, let me see what Focus Blast, Sheer Force, Life Orb would do to my um, Umbreon. It would do a fair bit of damage, not gonna lie. It'd do like 52.9 to 62.8. Again, I, I made the team builder earlier in the week, so I don't remember what all counts they ran, but if you guys wanna find that out, you guys can just check it out in your own time. Let's go for foul play. Yeah, let's focus last on the front. Sludge wave, okay, what's that gonna do? Yeah, not too much. So foul play again. I think my Umbreon is going to give this guy a lot of trouble. And I don't know yet if this guy's Scarf or Life Orb. It could be Life Orb, actually. So switching in Mega Metagross at this point would be a really dumb idea. So we're probably not going to be doing that. I'm going to go for Moonlight. Because Cresselia has Lunar Dance. I'm pretty sure Cresselia has Lunar Dance. So, um... We could theoretically Lunar Dance into Nido King. But if I set up a D Dance on this guy, and I get rid of his Talon Flame, then I pretty much win out. Because of my Heat Haxor set, which hopefully will work. My Heat sets, man, my Heat sets. So he's got two badly poisoned Pokemon, he's got a Nido King at very low health, he's got a Mega Blastoise that's completely knocked out. Almost wish, makes me wish I had Stealth Rocks on this team. Something I notice about myself is I don't rely on Stealth Rocks and Draft Leads and Tree Hazards at all, really. Maybe rarely, but not as much as one should. I guess my main concern is keeping them off my side of the field. Yeah, um... Going to Horus, which will be 
Talonflame, not bad, not bad at all. I don't know what this uh, Talonflame wants to do to us, but whatever it wants to do. Maybe we're, maybe we're going for like will this that'd be really shitty. I'm gonna keep going for a foul play though. I don't care. I'll play it, this thing away. So Horus is the Talonflame. We have yet to see the Dragonite. A little bit concerning. So what does this Talonflame want to do? I feel like after this battle, my, my opponent's gonna hate Umbreon's for weeks to come. For years to come. Because Midnight is just sitting here pretty. She's just sitting here pretty and, like, um, threatening people out with foul play. Raybird, interesting. How much does this do? Might do a shit ton of damage. We'll see. Oh, that. Oh, that's a critical hit. Well. Ain't that lovely. I don't want Umbreon to faint, actually, because Umbreon is a real key to this battle. I am... I need to see what this Talonflame can do without a critical hit, because that was just awful. Uh, we'll go... I guess we'll go... OU Revenge Killer for the sake of it. Ugh! Not a critical hit, that's just like over 50%. This is bad, man. This is very bad. I almost want to send out Tokyus. I almost want to send out Tokyus and just sack it off. Because it's not, it's not like um, 68 HP, so it can't really do much to Dragonite. This armor can just basically wall out the um, Cresselia. The Gastrodon, get some recovery going when it comes time for that. You know, I'm going to stack up the Tokyo, so that's what I'm going to do. So I can go for Braid Bird. That's fine. Braid Bird. You, you need a man. What's the swords in? Oh, I should have kept it in. Fuck my life. Oh, I just got... I'm going to sweat now. Maybe not. I should have went for foul play, damn it. I'm going, go, I'm going for Burbird. Burbird? The advantage of this is actually I can switch into my Nido King here. Get a bullet punch off. Assuming this is not a Jolly Talonflame. When we Mega Ball, we can outspeed it and go for Zen Headbutt. Just fuck this Talonflame up. I'll go for the Mega Evolution right here. We're gonna go hopefully for a Bullet Punch. Maybe we'll try to go for Flare Blitz or something. Come on! Roost, that's fine. Please don't be a Jolly Town Flame, that would be really awful for us. I'm begging you, please don't be a Jolly Town Flame. Alright, let's go for a Zen, let's go for a Zen Headbutt. No, nope, it's a Jolly Town Flame. Fuck my life, man. Fuck my life. So I basically just lost. Fantastic. Oh, So I lost my wrong. Fuck this. Come on. No, I can still win, potentially. I can still win with Electros. It's not over, it's not over. I, I can win with, with Haxorus. Go for the Discharge, come on. It's not over till it's over. We got this, we still got this. So I don't just roost up or something. We can just we can just go for discharge here. I should predict that roost too. Honestly, I should have just went for EQ. But I still think we got this.
Hopefully we got this. It's, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna go for Braybird and he's gonna knock over Flare Blitz. Alright, so Braybird kills. Um so Talonflame is down. Now we got Dragonite, we got Cresselia, we got Gastronaut, we got something else. And Nido King left. Hapsaurus. I want to sound as Dragonite, because no Bull Breaker kill will completely knock out the um, multi scale. I also need him to not be a Scarf Nido King. That's what I need him to be. So we're going to send out Arm Dragon the Hapsaurus. Damn Jolly Town Flame. Damn it. Damn Mirror Coat Blastoise. Knock on my Rotom Wash. Alright, Cresselia. If you send out Cresselia, I'm gonna just go right. I'm gonna double out into my Umbreon and get a Moonlight off. And hopefully wreck lives from there. So, it's Dragonite! Okay, good! Um, um, yes! Let's, let's find out how much Taxus' Dragon Claw will do. Let's find that out. Let's go to the Chalice here. I think this might be a ch I think I might regret not being adamant. Dragonite, let's see. This will go OU D Dance. I think we I think we can pull this off, guys. Should be fine. Oh, it's gonna be a roll. Fuck. It's going to be a 62.5% chance of one hit KO. So if this is the Dragonite set that I believe it is, we're gonna be basing this on a roll. So we're gonna go for the Dragon Claw. Maybe we can score a crit for our skill. Or he can switch out, that's cool too. The Terra. That's cool. We do land a critical hit though, so there's that. I'm definitely scared of this Nido King though, I really am. Uh, do I want to go for a D Dance here? I should go for a D Dance. But I'm so fucking scared that he's gonna scold me. He's gonna ice beam me, and it's just he's gonna knock my face out. I'm I don't know what to do here. Go for the D dance or not? I'm playing safe. I'm going for the Dragon Claw. I'm not gonna risk it. Let's go with Draw. All right, so he's gonna go into Cristelia, I'm guessing. All right, let's go. Ah, uh, I should've went for the D-Dance, damn it. Mmm, I hate this. I'm gonna go on Umbreon here. Go for a T-Wave. I'm gonna switch to Umbreon because I don't know what else to do. Moonlight, I could go for a D dance. Actually, I can go for Moonlight now. Assuming I don't get critical hit. Assuming I don't get fully paralyzed. We can still pull off this win. I think we can pull off this win. But my thought process was if I went for a D dance, he would have probably went for a T wave or something, and that would have stopped my sweet cold. That's why I went to Umbreon.
Hopefully I'll go for Gashadon. Go for Moonblast, that's fine actually. I don't really care about that. I don't care about that at all. So, Moonlight, a Psychic type attack I'm assuming. Thunder Wave, yeah, I think we got this. I think Umbreon's gonna help us out here. I forgot to remove the Pokemon because I wasn't paying attention, I was too busy being salty, so... Whatever. Well, Umbreon, it's all up to you! It's all up to you, Umbreon. I think you can carry this team. I think you can carry our team to victory. You're just trying hard enough. Come on, Umbreon. Come on, Midnight, let's go. Please don't stall the timer. This is not cool. He's like not making a move either. Right, there we go. He's going for moon blast. That's fine. Foul play. So Cressaia is still poison. I think what I'm gonna do after this is maybe Moonlight again. As soon as I get the um, Umbreon, as soon as I get the Cressaia out of here, if I can get a solid switch into um, Haxorus, I just declaw everything else. Assuming the Needle King is not Scarf. If it's Scarf, God, I am fucked. I am in a, I'm gonna be fucked if, it, if it's the Scarf Neo King. It's only revealed one move, and that's Sludge Wave. And then it switched out, so that leads me to believe it very well could be Scarf. Oh, the damage output on Umbreon based on the Calus says that it's... Okay, so they go for Lunar Dance here. The Cresselia is down, that's fine. Okay, that, that's cool. Is it going to what, Nido King? It's gonna be Nido King or Gastrodon? Nido King or Gastrodon? So, he's now down to three Pokemon. Dragonite! Nido King and Gastron. Uh, I can poison the, ne the Dragonite. It probably has a Lumberry though. Um, I can also. I can also um, poison the Gastron. I can take hits on Nido King all day with Umbreon. So. What does he want to go into? I think it's probably going to Gastron to be honest with you. This is gonna be guessed on a Nido King, it's probably gonna be guessed on. But then again, well, it could be Nido King, actually. It could be Nido King, because that was at low health as well. I'm going for Lunar Dance, basically. I'm just waiting on him to make his move. That's gonna be. It is gonna be the Nido King. Okay! So Nido King has fully refreshed the health. But again, I would love to believe that this Nido King is not scarfed. But I don't know. I mean, I honestly do not know what to believe right now. Sludge Wave? Alright. 
Alright, final play again. I kind of want to let Nato King take out my Umbreon, though. I'm not going to lie. I kind of do. It's just going for Sludge Wave, though. There's no Earth Power, I believe. Unless I miss him using Earth Power earlier after a Sludge Wave. I'm going to go for a Moonlight here. What are you doing, Nato King? Are you Scarf or are you not Scarf? Please, just tell me what you are. I don't want to switch to Haxorus because then Haxorus will take a Sludge Wave. If he has Scarf, then he'll take like two Sludge Waves and die to E Speed when Dragonite comes out because, let's be real here, they do carry E Speed. Sludge Wave, that's fine, that opens this down. Little King is knocked out. I guess if he sends out a Dragonite, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep going for foul plays. I'm not going to waste time with this up a Toxic. We're not going to go for a cover. We're just going to keep going for foul plays head on. No questions asked. Because if I waste my time trying to go for a Toxic and it's Lumberry, it does me no good. I don't get to break that multi scale. But I really want that Dragonite to take my Umbreon out. So that's what I'm going to do. Want to set up a Dragonite? So that's fine. Just take lots of damage. It was using Outrage, so. Alright. Alrighty then. It's 2-2 two -two so far. We're down, we're both down 4 Pokemon. He has a Dragonite left and the Gastron, and here is the Dragonite. Foul plays, don't do anything else, just keep going for foul play, and hope that you can live in Outrage or whatever. Or please just take my Umbreon out somehow. You might think I'm gonna go for Toxic. You might feel really pretty if that Lumberry. Yeah, he's going for a D-Dance. So if we can live another um, foul play, another uh, move from this. If we can live a move from this right now, we'd be we can basically win. Okay, can we live a move from this Dragon Knight? If we live whatever attack he has planned, we win the match. Please do not have D dance. Please don't have outrage. Please have something simple like Dragon Claw. I think we can possibly pick up the win here. Come on, Brian, you got this. You can live. I believe in you. We go to Dragon Claw. We should be able to live a plus one Dragon Claw. Yes, we do. We, can, we won this, I think. I think we won this. Yes, we did. Alright, cool. Dragonite is down. Fantastic. Umbreon is really going to help us win here. I am elated right now. Midnight, you are the MVP of this match. You are just straight up the MVP. No question about it. Gastron's going to come out. It's going to die to foul play. Or can just toxic stall it. But Umbreon, you're taking that Dragon Claw like I know you could, knew you could. It just simply won us the match. That is just amazing. Thank you so much, Midnight. You are the MVP of this match. But yeah, that is going to be the match against Green Scrafty, a.k.a. Rudy, of the Chattanooga Chestnuts. Um, good game, dude. The link to his social media will be in the description, his YouTube, his Twitter, and all that other stuff. And we managed to redeem ourselves after choking last week. So we almost choked this week, but we managed to pull it back thanks to Midnight. You know, Brian, and I am just... Absolutely amazed at Umbreon. It's like just absolutely amazing how Umbreon helped me pull this back. But a uh, good game, Rudy. Thank you so much for the battle, dude. I really do appreciate it. Sorry about my salt. I really apologize, but you know, they don't call me a salty wipe of belly for nothing. But yeah, I uh, once again the links to his um his channel and it will be in the description, as well as our sponsor, smunchygames.com. Check them out as well. Enter Tesla or lowercase at checkout. Or five percent off your purchase but yeah please leave a like comment subscribe, subscribe if you want to see more fantastic vpl draft league action and i will see you next week for another vpl match as we hope to go six and one 
Thank you all for watching. I will catch you on the flip side. And remember, stay salty, Rage Quitters. Stay salty. Whoop, whoop.